Hello Frisky Fighters, welcome back to the channel. Today I know I've had some technical difficulties so I wasn't able to usually do this how I like to with face cam and better audio so I apologize about that but I wanted to bring you some awesome Spectre news. Now if you know for this past month Spectre has been the actual hero festival month. This is his month. It's his time to shine. He's easily accessible if you've been adding or saving up your premium currency you've been able to get these atoms and you can get him yourself pretty cheap or you can donate and you can just buy him and it goes and helps the actual company so we all want to help the devs so if you want to do that i definitely say go for it because i did and if you want me to do that more make sure you hit that like button make sure you hit that subscribe button make sure you comment on this video so i know that you're enjoying this footage and that way i will keep purchasing things for the game and showing it off therefore helping them and you help me by checking this content out but with that being said let's jump right in and yes i did actually go ahead and buy this outfit it was it was too good to pass up only 4.99 very very cheap when compared to most other games in their skins so of course i had to dive right on in and get this it looks really really good i love the scarecrow feature you got the pumpkin aesthetics on his shoulder blade the scarecrow the noose around his neck the actual peg leg like everything about this outfit is really good even the lantern detail it's really nice. Now, let's just check out his other outfits real quick. As you can see, they're all just recoloring, which is nice. Like, you can't be mad at that. The different recoloring is really good. They're all nice. All these are, like I said, recoloring reskins, but they're all really good looking color combinations. I never thought I would actually even like a mustard. But this is the original skin that you get if you buy him right off the bat. Just to give you guys a good 360, even the detail of the claws on his feet are really awesome. And then let's take a look at the skin one more time so you guys can see it in all its glory. All right, now let's take you about some info about him. If you read Spectre's classified file, assuming you have the access to the Adodrome vault, you won't learn much. Of Russian, origin, of, the, of Russian origin, a free spirit with no known allegiance and reputation as a first class recon operator with an almost supernatural skill to stealth their way through the, anything. The fact that they are actively researching Spectre's past is a sign that Adodrome is either trying to exploit their weak points, if they can find any, or just playing to recruit this mysterious hero. Now, pretty awesome, interesting weapon. Now let's take a look at his abilities. You see here, the ghost trap. Spectra launches a trap that gets stuck to any surface and turns on automatically. When an enemy enters its detection area, stunning them for two seconds, cool down for four seconds. Now, I've tested this around. I was able to get about three of them actually on there. Three ghost traps on the screen at once which is really nice to have. You can trap any area really well. Now the holographic viewfinder deploys Spectre's scope to increase both range and damage while aiming. Spectre's movement speed is reduced. You know, the movement speed is reduced to 53% because you're concentrating on aiming. And then invisibly, invisibility phaser. The meta material in Spectre suits forms an invisibility layer during nine seconds it's only for a short time and it consumes all of the accumulated energy, but it's so worth it. So basically he goes invisible, which is really nice, though it doesn't work a lot in his solo gaming thing because the drones, they will still shoot you no matter what. But with that being said, let's just get into some gameplay. Now, first thing first, what we want to do is go and like I said, we're going to want to drop some good old traps around. Trapping the area is the best thing we can do. And you can also hold the trap and throw it. Oh, we already getting. See, he got he got caught in that trap.
Let's throw that trap down. Let's go invisible. Then we can sit here and scope out. All right, let's go and get some health. You, you let that fully charge, guys? That way? Oh, they got me. But yeah, for letting it fully charge, so that way you get the most, the maximum damage. All right, so now we're gonna actually try and take the point. And there go. So we can actually win this round. I just wanna show off a little bit of his moves, but now we're gonna play to win. See, that is really good for her because she runs in and it locks it down so well. I wanna put one more trap over here. Look, she got caught by it. Nice, come on, there we go. Got caught by that trap again. That tra I'm telling you guys, that trap comes is like one of his best moves. It stuns them and it locks them in place. And that's a victory. You see, it is that easy, guys. He's really good to play. I really enjoy him and he's really fun. Now, I know this was a brief overview, but if you would like a more in-depth guide to him, drop that like. Let me know down in the comments and I will show you all that you can do with him. I will get deep into his weapons. I'll pay a little bit of money so I can get hopefully all of his weapons and I can show off all of his skins. But with that being said, thank you guys for watching. Remember to always, always stay frisky and that I love you. They act like you fuck with them. They don't know I be gunning. Pow, pow, got them running. I feel like they just racing Over to come over to party with me Shots on shots way over the limit